Filecoin. So, um, Filecoin is obviously a uh, decentralized sort of storage network. Now, there are a number of these projects right now, and DPIN is becoming a much, much bigger narrative in the crypto space. I think we're going to see quite a surge in DPIN uh, discussions, especially off the back of like what Helium have done. And while Helium haven't hit the market up and Filecoin as of yet, uh, I do think all of them have the potential for a rise. I'm going to talk about best case scenario here for Filecoin. Though. Before I get into it, if you're new here and you don't know what the spreadsheet is, uh, these are the first 26 coins that I did videos about on the channel. When I did these videos, I showed myself buying these coins. Uh, if you do got in on any of them at these, uh, when I released the videos, you've gotten in at these prices. Sit on them for 16 months and you've sold them at these prices. So $100 into each of the 26. Uh, sitting on them for less than a year and a half and selling them, you'd have made over 123 grand. Now in under a year and a half, that's spectacular. That's nearly a house. Now... Again, that was in an 18 month window. <clears throat> We're already in a bull cycle while um, Bitcoin and Ethereum have been moving a bit. The rest are being a bit slow, which gives you the opportunity to sort your portfolio out before these markets rip. If you go to copymycrypto.com, that's the site I run where I share my entire portfolio with my members. If you were to join today, you would see my whole portfolio. Whenever I add to it with a new coin, I let my members know what coin I'm adding and at what price. Uh, whenever I sell a coin, I let my members know what coin I'm selling and at what price. This means all my members get in on cryptos at the same price, get out of them at the same price. So they make the same profit, but they don't have to do any work at all. If you go onto the site, you will see the profits that my members have made. Um, this is all public record. You can verify it. And there's a reason thousands of members are on the site. And it's because of the profits that have been made. This year will be no different. So if you don't have your portfolio sorted, now is the time to get it done because if you're waiting three or four months, it's going to be too late. You're going to miss a ton of the profits. So have a read of the site. Test it out, guys. So Filecoin. So Filecoin has been around a while. Now, obviously, in 2021, it absolutely ripped. I mean, it flew up. It hit highs of $237. Um. And it's worth noting, look, there was a little bit of uncertainty around how, uh, about about the dump that followed it um, and why that dump was so significant. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Filecoin, Filecoin is just a decentralized storage system. They aim to store humanity's most important information. Project raised 205 million in an ICO in 2017. Uh, the launch date was pushed to uh, mid-October of 2020. The project was first described back in 2014 as an incentive layer for the interplanetary file system, which is a peer-to-peer -peer storage network where users pay for data storage uh, and services in the file coin. Um, it is an open protocol and backed by a blockchain that records commitments made by the network's participants with transactions made using the file token. Um, and the, the blockchain is based on uh, two uh, consensus mechanisms. One is proof of replication and one is proof of space time. Now, on the, uh, on the platform itself, developers have the opportunity to create cloud file storage services like Dropbox or iCloud. Um, again, anyone can join Filecoin and store their data or earn money by providing space. It's a nice way to passively earn. Uh, one thing I will say um, is there are a number of these projects out there. Now, Filecoin was founded by Juan uh, Bennett, who also created the uh, interplanetary file system. Uh, he's a computer scientist who studied at Stanford uh, after founding Protocol Labs in May of 2014, he attended Y Combinator in the summer of 2014 with the intention of supporting both the interplanetary file system and Filecoin, as well as other projects. When we say this got a lot of money, I mean, Jesus Christ, did it get a lot of money. When you check out who they are backed by, um, you will see that they are backed by Polychain, Blockchain, Capital, Boost VC, DCG, Hashkey, Andreas Nahorowitz's crypto arm, Winklevoss Capital, Pantera, 
Obviously, this has been tagged as a potential SEC token. Um, and it's part of the Deepin narrative. Now, Deepin is a, a growing narrative. Like, for the first time in a very long time, we're now seeing a use case for blockchain tech that goes beyond earning a bit of cash. Um, and realistically, that's we've begun seeing that over the last few years much more. I mean, there are some OG crypto projects that have been out for a long time around dis like decentralized uh, storage. Sirecoin is a great example of that. Um, however, this deeper narrative has grown and grown and grown. You know, I referenced Helium at the beginning of this video. Helium has, you know, launched their their own mobile contracts now. Um, and the actual physical use case for um, these blockchain projects have real scope for growth, scope for improvement. Um, that's really what we want to see now. You know, we're not really seeing, there's still obviously tons of like great interest in DeFi projects, but the deeper narrative is where you can start seeing businesses entering the crypto space. The deeper narrative is where you can start seeing uh, your average citizen be able to participate and and use the systems. Um, so Filecoin has the potential there. Uh, it is worth noting, look, I have had a play with a number of these decentralized storage networks. I think... Filecoin is actually quite clunky and not the easiest uh, for uh, someone with no technical um, knowledge to use. When you compare with some of the other projects that are out in the space, uh, like storage like Sirecoin, I think they're so much more simple and more, they're easier. I think there is less of an issue for a random person that's got no technical experience to use them than, than it is Filecoin. However, Filecoin has obviously got hair, hair, heavy backing. Um, and Filecoin is the leader in the sort of space in terms of market cap, at least. Um, there was a lot of interesting stuff that happened with Filecoin as well, with regards to the price action. So we'll talk about that. Now, back in 2020, there was some weirdness that was uh, happening between Justin Sun, obviously founder of Tron, uh, and Filecoin uh, founder Juan Bennett. Um, so he was uh, attacking Justin Sun for spreading completely false accusations about the movement of the Filecoin tokens soon after listings. So they've had like a huge, they had a huge back and forth back in 2020. This doesn't affect like the bull cycle so much, but it's just, it was a very odd uh, interaction. I remember this and it was, Juan came out and was like, Justin Sun is known as a bad actor in the crypto community. Just recently read the recent profile on Verge. Um, so basically what happened was um, that Bennett speculated that the motives behind Sun's attack on the Filecoin token was that uh, he planned to fork Filecoin and hopes to trump up a reason to do so. Sorry, Justin, you're nobody's savior. Um Meanwhile, uh, continuing his attacks on Sun, he said, look at the history of projects associated with Tron and confirm you want that. And you may be the victim of huge pump and dump scam. Good luck. Um, however, as Bennett insisted that no to token dumping had occurred, reports came out that even more file testnet tokens were moved to exchanges and sold. Explaining the events as they occurred, one Twitter user um, said basically miners dumped their testnet coins crushing the price then complained they should change the locking schedule since more supply was on market Filecoin had to accept the miners proposals and 25% immediately unlocked how did testnet coins become real was there a code bug um, it was just it was a very unusual scenario now it's nothing as bad as like what ended up happening with ICP in terms of like the price dump because obviously ICP went from staggering heights uh, and it, when they crashed. But uh, I don't think there's too much truth to the sort of Justin Sun attacks uh, back in 2020. I think Filecoin is just, it's an interesting idea. Um, I will point out, look, again, I've tried out all the 
decentralized um, storage networks. I think Filecoin is the worst in terms of ease of use. And I think when you are looking at a product that people are going to use, there has to be an element of ease of use. Filecoin lack that substantially. Now, the way they're going to succeed is going to be based on getting users because they're already on every exchange. So they're not getting a listing bounce. So the only way they can succeed is with a seriously, like a very, very significant marketing campaign where they are trying to get users on board as much as possible. They have got to advertise, they've got to market, they've got to get users to use the platform. And I've not seen them do that. And the only way they're going to grow, because yeah, obviously they can they can uh, strengthen their entire project. The tech can be, they can make the tech easier to use, but they still need users. Users is a big, big deal. And I'm not seeing, I, see, I need to see them doing a huge marketing campaign. If they do that, they can maybe succeed. I don't think this is getting anywhere close to its previous highs because I don't think they've got the usage that would suggest that they can get back to those highs. Maybe it goes half that way. Half that way would be about $120. That's kind of best case scenario if they onboard, you know, tens of thousands of users regularly as well. That can't just be like a one-off. They've got to really push. And if they do that, maybe it can get back to sort of 100 bucks, 120 bucks. But there are more tokens now than there was. So, you know, $200 as a market, like to get back to $200 would put it at the sort of uh, $100 billion range in terms of market cap. I just can't see that happening. 120 is still possibly achievable, but again, there needs to be huge, 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 huge marketing. They have to either onboard massive, massive companies that are going to use their technology to really get some hype behind the project. Otherwise, you know, I could see it honestly not doing much more than 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. Do you think it can do any better? Do you think it can beat this previous high? Like, where do you stand on it? Let me know in the comments. Uh, and guys, if you want to make the same profits as me in this bull cycle, you can do. All you have to do is join up at copymycrypto.com. That's the site I run where I share my entire portfolio with my members. Whenever I add to my portfolio with a new coin. I let my members know what coin I'm adding, what price I'm adding it at, what percentage of my money I'm putting in, and my members can copy along exactly. Whenever I sell a coin, I let my members know what coin I'm selling and at what price. So this means all my members get in on coins at the same price, they get out of coins at the same price, they make the same profit, but they don't have to do any work at all. And if you go onto the site, you'll see what my members have earned. And this year is gonna be no different. That's why there are thousands of members on the site. We are already in a bull cycle, but the altcoin market is yet to properly rip. So you have time to get something sorted. Not a lot of time, but a bit of time. So if your portfolio is weak, if you don't even have a portfolio, now is the time to do something about it. If you go onto copymycrypto.com, read through it, try the site out, it will be able to help you out getting your portfolio up to scratch before these markets rip. And that's it from me, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.